today was the big day. You Golden Globes. Like Globless me. got announced. Yes. Um, who was snubbed? Oh, boy. Do we I'm have gonna, any snubs? I'm going to read who wasn't snubbed. <laughs> we predicted this a long time Robert ago. Robert Downey Jr. Probably. Um, no. Oh, my gosh. Not him. No. He wasn't for in Iron anything. Man? <laughs> he wasn't in He for was the, snubbed again. <laughs> for the 800th Iron Man? What? No. Robert De Niro, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I like how we're laughing at Robert Downey Jr. when it's like, truthfully, if oh, he no, wasn't no, no. doing Iron Man, oh, he'd be nominated yeah, every yeah, yeah. single Absolutely. year. For he's, the, he's better than everyone that's nominated. But anyway. Probably. I wonder if any more. I wonder if you lose it Ooh. after doing that shit. You could lose it, I think. You know? You become like a caricature of himself, which he sort of is, right? If you see him in interviews or. Yeah. He's just. I li- Look, I'm, I, I love his whole shit. It's just oh, me him too, now. But. He's just very specific, and he's worth a gajillion dollars. Um, You've got to be out of touch at a certain point, money-wise, right? Like, it's got to... You you lose that whatever he had. Maybe. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Uh, no, this, the, the one we called forever ago, and we were not excited about her, her performance, or the show, really, this year was Big Little Lies. Yeah. Meryl Streep. Of course. So... Um, I wanted to look it up because I was like, I we joke about this so much on the show, how she gets nominated every year, no every matter year. what, because you have to apparently. Mm-hmm. It's it's in the. You ready for this? This number is really big and it's really surprising. I won't be surprised, but go ahead and tell me. How many times? Are, uh, all right, so let's 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 ask you this: How many times do you think she's been nominated for a Golden Globe? I would say like twenty. That's what I would have said. Oh, okay. I would have said that too, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And that seems like a lot. Where you're seems like, oh, like a lot. Yeah. Did you think of like all the different? That's twenty years. A hundred percent. And I, I, I'm right with you. I was right in that boat where I was just like, huh. Wonder how, when I saw her name scroll across this morning, I was just like, I wonder how many times she's been nominated. And then I looked it up. Thirty-four. Okay. That is double what I thought. Well, but okay. So I guess I just got it wrong as far as how many years she's been doing it. So like, she's been. Hardcore in the game for over 30 years. Yeah. So if 40. You go, she, yeah. So it says that her first nomination was fucking Deer Hunter. And that was Holy like shit. 77 maybe. Look, and alive, I'll give it but. to her. I think she used to be the best. And now she's just weird as shit and always has to have like a teeth in, a weird glasses. <laughs> a, like, a teeth in. Do you know what I mean? Or just like a... I don't know, a weird accent. She just needs to try all these different things. There's this new thing on Netflix, new movie called The Laundry Mat. Yeah. And she's just like acting so fucking weird. Like back in the day, she was her. She was a real. normal person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was really good and real. And she, you, you just believed everything she said. Sure. And that's why there is the, you know, whatever. The oh, yeah, Church yeah, yeah, yeah. of yeah. Merrill, right? Yeah. That's why that started. But now. So it says here her first, yeah, nomination was uh, 79 for the Deer Hunter. Okay. Okay. And then it's like um, postcards from the edge. And, and then went on to win her first Golden Globe the following year for Kramer versus Kramer. Oh, God, that's right. See, but like. Uh, Sophie's man, Choice. She was good. She was really, really good. And French I French Lieutenant's Woman was. in 82. Sophie's Choice in 83. Um, and then after a 20-year break, she landed six consecutive nominations for uh, One True Thing, The Bridges of Madison County. She was great in that. Marvin's Room, she was great in that. Great. River Wild, she was great in that. Great. Um, yeah, man. I just... Just not anymore. I think after Julia and Julia or whatever, where she played Julia Child. Yeah. And then the Iron Maiden. Iron Lady. Iron Lady. <laughs> I was like, yo, did Wait, she do an Iron Maiden dude, biopic? That'd be the only way for her to get back in the game for me. <laughs> but anyway, she just sort of lost it in my mind. I don't know. Yeah, I Obviously don't know. Obviously not in the eyes of the Academy or anyone that talks about her. The one They thought her, her performance in Big Little Lies was, oh, amazing. Yeah. And I fucking thought it was trash. Oh, it's amazing. Because this is foreign press, so sure. obviously that's how they would talk that's to her. That's how they would talk oh, to her. Oh, you're amazing in that. You're mm-hmm. amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, some of the biggest snubs they're saying mm-hmm. were Game of Thrones. Right, but nobody liked this No last one liked season, the so ending. Well, the fans are goes. pissed online of like, yeah. oh, it was their last season. You should give them something. 
No. If, if nobody liked the season, who fucking cares? See ya. And uh, Cats. What about Cats, though? It was snubbed? Allegedly. I didn't see any screeners out. Um, so so I, I had heard an interview this morning right before I left that said, hey, they sat down with all of the members. They screened it personally for them. Um, and they gave it one nomination. So the nomination was for Best Original Song, and it's Taylor Swift. 